Granada, Livermore, Shea Hill. The 2019 California 2019 California State Division II Boys Championship Race. We are here with our 2019 Division I state runner-up, Corey Smith, Buchanan High School. He finishes second today in 17 minutes flat. Uh, Corey, first and foremost, congratulations on an excellent individual effort here today. Um, if you could, what was the mindset that you had going into this? Obviously, last year, a disappointing result for you not being able to compete. And I know there was probably a lot of motivation to come out here with a strong race today, which you were able to do. What was the, your individual mindset coming in here today? Uh, my individual mindset was mostly just to come out here and just put on um, the best race I could for the day. I've been running really well this whole season, so I was just looking forward to seeing what I could do. Um, my last race kind of for on this course, so for me it was just all, I'm all about me coming out here and trying to run a fast time and just seeing what I could do and hopefully that was going to come away with a team title for me. It was all about mostly the team for honestly me today, um, but we did great, so I'm super excited about how everything ended up. Now, obviously, you talked about the team title, and that's obviously a huge accomplishment for your program. Um, in Division One. obviously, there's been a team that has dominated this division for the better part of the decade, and they've been sort of the, the bar that everyone's trying to get to. And year in and year out, everyone's been a little bit short. This year, you guys were able to go ahead and accomplish what you wanted to. Just take us through what had to happen for your team to accomplish that here today. Um, I think for us, is obviously, you know, I had to run my race. We have a couple freshmen that um, have been doing really, really well this year. And for them to just go out there and stay relaxed, that's a big thing. Obviously, you come out here, you're a freshman. We're a top-ranked school. It's a lot of pressure, and they handled it really, really well. And I think they both came away with PRs, which is exactly what we needed for today. And everyone else just ran their race. That was a huge, like, not issue for us, but just not getting too excited or nervous. It's a big meet. You know, it means a lot for a lot of us out here. So it was mostly just about making sure everyone stayed collected for the race today. Now, obviously, one of the big headlines was the battle with Great Oak. And as the scoring was kind of unfolding, it was back and forth. Mm -hmm. They were ahead. You guys were ahead. They were ahead. You guys were ahead. When everything got settled out and you guys were ahead and it didn't change anymore, what was that moment like? Again, we talked about how they have been the team in this division. For you guys to kind of end that title streak and claim one of your own, uh, what was that moment like for you? Um, shock, probably. Um, I think for us, we um, we always talked about it, and you know, we beat them at Woodbridge. They beat us at Clovis Invite. It comes down to this, you know. It was just more of we knew we could do it. It just had to be a great day for us, just overall. So for us, finding out that. We won. It was just, like I said, shock. I'm still in a little bit of shock. I can't really believe it that much, but we're super excited um, and super grateful that, you know, we have everyone out here. This is our home course. We've got tons of people out here, so it's that helps too. But like I said, we just, we're all a little bit surprised still, but definitely super excited about it. Now, you guys talked about this being your home course, and obviously you kind of know the attack points and things of that nature. Was there a point where the team said, okay, we can execute better than any other team at this particular point, and if so, what would that be? Um, I think it's definitely the second mile. A lot of people tend to slow down, so we kind of gave ourselves the goal of you can't slow down more than 30 seconds. We knew everyone slows down the second mile. It's the hilliest one. So we told our team, and we practiced, if you, you can't slow down more than 30 seconds. Your slowdown needs to be 30 seconds or lower, and it, don't get past. That's another big thing. The second mile, keep your placing the same, don't get past, and don't slow down that much and for us that's what we've been training for you know all season and just that's where we realize that if we can execute this and do this well no one's really going to be able to beat us now obviously there could be some more team stuff ahead of you guys um just talk a little bit about what that would be like in terms of having to shift the focus celebrating what you guys were able to do here today but preparing yourself to take competition to the national stage 
honestly, I'm the only one on this team that's ever been to a national meet before. So for us, it's mostly about making sure that they're um, they understand that there's a difference. Like it just feels more, not more important. This is what we trained for all year, but it just feels so much more. I could say bigger, but it feels a lot like it's not more important. I'm gonna say it feels bigger, yeah. So it feels just like a bigger atmosphere. There's so many more people there. You're training, you're running against people you've never seen before from all the way across the country, and it's a big deal. You make a lot of cool new friends, and you get to race on such a cool, it's such a cool area, and it's amazing. Like I love competing nationally like that, but for the freshmen and people who just haven't gone before, it's just gonna be a different experience, and I'm gonna try to prepare them. You know the best I can for it. Well, winning experience here, and obviously a lot to look forward to. Again, Buchanan High School senior Corey Smith finishes second in 2019 in Division One, helps lead Buchanan High School to a CIF cross country championship. Again, Corey, congratulations. Thank you.